<laughs> yeah. Yo, what up, friends? Hi. So, a lot of you guys have been asking a lot of very interesting questions about what I've been doing and how I've been doing things, and it's 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 been a ride. To save you the four-minute skip, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the title of the video, which is no secret, the essences, and what we're doing and how we're doing it. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of strategies that are going to be good for solo self-bound, for trade league, for all kinds of things that you can be doing. And this strategy will go from very chill to very intense, and you'll be able to casually play and make money. You'll be able to play at a more an aggressive pace and make money. And then if you really just want to sit in your hideout and be a full-time hideout warrior, you could take this strat to the next level and just be a hideout warrior. So essentially what we're going to be doing in the TLDR is we're going to be going into maps. We're going to be farming essence. We're going to be farming life force. We're going to be taking all of our bad essences, which I will give you a list in the description down below of all the bad essences. And we're going to be converting them to good essences. Essentially, I'm going to show you my essence tab, what it's worth now, show you how to do the strat, show you how to flip. And then I'm going to kind of give you the rundown of like what kind of money, how to make money and things that you can be doing. Now, I did essence flipping on stream for the past few days where I sat in my hideout and I was given a bunch of essences and I was commissioned to flip them. I made. If I told you how many divines I made in a couple of hours, you guys would call me a liar and say it would never happen. But. If you've been watching the Twitch streams, you'll know that I put together one mirror, 100 divines when mirrors are at 260 and about 40 hours of grinding the game and selling and trading. And now how I did all the trading and how I did that, that'll be for another video coming out in a couple of days. I'm going to record it all. I'm going to talk to you guys about trading, but that's not the nature of the video today. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about my Atlas tree and essentially what's going on. So I've taken a bunch of Cove maps. I've Alc, or I've chiseled Alc, I've corrupted them because that's what I'm doing. I'm putting Essence on the map device. And we're just going to open up a map and we're going to go in. We're going to blow up the map. We're going to clear it all out. We're going to go to the Essence. And then I'll even show you guys a spreadsheet about what's going on. Now, Spectral Shield Throw is really strong, as a lot of you guys have known. And this, while I'm doing it on a red tier map, you could do on a white tier map. So I'm looking for my Essences. My Essence is right here. And we're going to choose to not corrupt this one. And we're just going to, like, find the harvest, run all around. We're going to look for more essences. We'll do the harvest last, find another essence, kill the essence, find another essence. Now, this guy has four essences on him. So the way I've been doing it, and I don't know if this is the proper way to do it, but if they have four or more on them, we kill them. And if they have, or we corrupt them and kill them. And then if they have... The purple essences on them we also corrupt them in hopes that they turn into one of the cool corrupting essences now this strategy while is a very good mapping strategy you can also add in crucible and you could do a lot of things which we'll cover when we go over the atlas tree so once again we go in we kill our essence i think we killed the map boss i think we killed the map boss i don't honestly remember but it's fine and we just kind of like, you know, do a very typical mapping strategy. I have been a little slow about this because I've mostly just been like hanging out, talking to Twitch chat and like just kind of taking my time. But you can pretty much go into a map, clear the whole map and be in and out in about two minutes. Harvest pending, build pending, how fast you move and stuff like that. Now, when we come to the harvest, we're going to do a very easy strategy of what we're going to do. We're going to choose the best seed and we're going to kill it. And then we're going to take the life force that we're not using and flip it for life force that we want. So in this case, there's no tier three seed here. There's a tier three seed here. We could tell by the blue lining of the name. We'll come in, we'll kill this. And we're just gonna farm up a bunch of life force. And you know, the life force that we're not using, we're gonna sell for a profit and we're gonna buy the life force that we need. And it works out really, really, really well. Same thing here, no blue names here, one blue name here, so we'll clear this one. waiting for these last mobs get a couple of yellow life force and move on to the next pack now i know a lot of builds aren't going to move as fast as spectral shield throw a lot of builds aren't going to be able to clear as well as spectral shield throw and that is okay you should tailor your maps to what your build can do and how you can do it and the returns will still be very good when you see exactly what we're doing so the same thing here we have a blue name here no name here this one has two we're going to kill this one all of the maps are very easy they're very chill the mapping experience isn't bad at all 
And we'll get our life force. Oh, sorry, it's my ring doorbell. Oh God, it's gonna be in the video. No, everybody's gonna get baited. All right, so now you'll see that we've done a map. We've got a bunch of essence. We've got a bunch of life force and we're gonna throw it into our tab. Now, over the last like two days, I very casually mapped. I very casually done essences and I've walked away. You can see I have three sacred blooms, 14,000 primal crystallized life force, 23,000 vivid life force, and a little over 50K in the purple life force. Now I had about 20,000 yellow life force more. We're not gonna talk about where that went. Um, yeah, we're just gonna ignore the fact that it's gone. I also had about 10,000 or 20,000 more blue life force. I sold it for a couple of divines as there was something I wanted to buy. But overall, doing this strategy, you make a lot of life force and you get a lot of essences. Now we'll look at my essence tab and I've already pulled it up on the TFT bulk tool. I'll just refresh this really quick to show you guys. My essence tab as it stands currently is worth about 21 divines. Not too great, not too bad. Overall, pretty good for a couple days of just like casually playing the game. 21 divines is really good. So here's what I'm gonna show you. And this is what makes this strategy really, really, really interesting. So I'm going to take out and you'll notice that I have a bunch of essences that have very little piles. Essence of delirium is a good one. Okay, we want to put that there. So you'll notice that I have a lot of essences that have very big stacks and a lot of essences that have very little stacks. I forgot to convert. So let's convert these two. And essentially what I want to do is I want to turn all of the bad essences into good essences and spend a couple of minutes re-rolling all of the bad ones. Now we have math, we have a spreadsheet, we've done the numbers, we've been doing it on stream. So we know this is very profitable. So we take our essence, let's put this here. We search up essence and for 270 blue, we take our woe and we turn it into the loathing. We take our fear, we turn it into scorn. We take our torment, we turn it into fear, which is bad. Wrath is pretty good. And I will give you guys the list of essences that are good and a list of essences that are bad. And we just sit here and for a couple of clicks, oh, okay, this one's just, just not being nice. And for a couple of clicks, we just turn our life force and essences into not bad ones. So you can see if you already made, like RNG is RNG obviously. So don't always expect to get as many, you know, loathings as I've just gotten, but there are a lot of good essences that are worth a lot of money and it takes very little time at all to just sit here and do this. And the same thing with these, I'm going to turn these into deliriums. I'm going to turn this woe into a wrath. I'm going to turn this torment into a scorn. I'm going to turn these insanities into deliriums. So now we have a bunch of deliriums and I'm going to put these back into my essence tab. Now I'm going to refresh my zone because that's how you get things to update. And I'm gonna pull over my tab here. So you can see originally we had 21.7 divines and I'm gonna redo this now. I'm gonna select my essence tab again. I'm gonna select high essences and I'm just gonna select and go. And you can see by just flipping for a half a second, we've made 1.8, or I'm sorry, 1.14 divines. And you'll say to me, whoa, 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 whoa. You used a lot of blue life force. I'm like, you're right. I did use blue life force. Now you can see life force itself is registering at one divine per 9,800. We did not use 9,800 blue life force. We used a very little blue life force and we just converted our essence. Now, where is my spreadsheet? So I had a good buddy of mine named Tat, put together an essence spreadsheet, and we started tracking all the profits, all the returns, the maps, and I'll take a screenshot of this and I'll put a screenshot or I'll, I'll ask him if I could share the link in the video and I'll put this link too. And you can see on average in 20 maps, we used about 1.2 remnants. We spent about two minutes in a map. We see Sacred Grove roughly 75 to 90% of the time. And it's costing us for 20 maps about 111c i think that's what this is and we revenue like out the wazoo and i'll leave this for you guys to look at and play around with 
but essentially what we're doing is, is we're getting bad essences and we're flipping them into good essences. And a lot of you guys have been doing it the way that I've been doing it on stream, where you guys are going out and buying essence tabs from your friends, from TFT, buying bad essences on the trade website at a lower value than what they're worth. So if you go on TFT or you buy an entire essence tab from your friends, normally you spend about 90% of what the essence tab is worth. You use the 10% difference to convert all of your essences, and then you list all of your essences on the trade website at a markup because you have bulk essences. If that doesn't make sense, leave a comment down below. I'll try to explain it a little bit more. But essentially, we're buying cheap, flipping the cheap into good, stockpiling a mass amount of the good, and then selling it at a markup. I feel like this is the part of the video where people have pitchforks out and they're screaming, so I'm just going to let you pause here for a moment and just yell at the monitor. It's, it's okay. It's fine. I know it sounds very weird. And do all that. And now that you're done yelling and you're saying, I let me show you what I've been doing. So all of that you see here is all self-farm. All of the life force is self-farm and all of the everything that I'm doing is self-farm. And I have an Atlas tree that I'm going to put in the video description down below. And it's going to walk you through everything that the Atlas tree is doing. <clears throat> now, essences are not affected by the map tier. So you could do white tier maps and blitz your essence and blow them up. Harvest, on the other hand, is affected by the map tier and the pack size on the map, the quantity and all that jazz. So red is always going to be better. But it doesn't matter what tier map you do, as long as you're doing maps and clearing maps and flipping your life force. Now, you saw we had 21, 22 divines in just essence. And that's not including the... Divine in blue, the 3.6 divine in yellow, not including the 20,000 I deleted that we're not going to talk about, the five divines in red. So we're sitting on close to 30, depending on how we flip and what's going on. Now, the Atlas tree, like you guys saw, has a couple of things going for it. We take an additional essence, we block every league mechanic except Harvest. <clears throat> we take the essence has a three additional essences. We take essence with shrieking are duplicated. We take essences and maps are found in a higher tier. And we're going to take all of the big boy harvest nodes. We're going to take bountiful harvest to get 10% additional monsters for more life force. We're going to take all of the harvest chance nodes so that we have a really high percent chance at harvest. We're going to take the harvest nodes down here. We're going to take life forces duplicated. We're also going to take the fact that we reduce the amount of purple and blue plants. And I know somebody's going to say, but you need blue to convert your life force, which is true, or your essence. And we want to take yellow specifically because yellow is worth more. So if we get a ton of yellow life force, we could sell yellow life force and buy blue and have profit left over. We're going to take blue altar specifically because they offer us more quant. Now, you don't have to take blue altars. You could take red altars. It doesn't really matter. Altars are subjective. Blue is usually better for harvest, but that's on you. And then we're going to take the entire top hat, the entire quant wheel on the outside and the inside. And you're going to notice you're left over with about 10 to 15 points, maybe a little bit more, depending on how you do things in pathing. And we're going to put those points into a couple of very specific things. First, we're going to take singular focus so that we can attempt to get more of the map. I like running coves. You can run almost any map. There's Atoll, City Square, Jungle Valley. There's a lot of really good maps for this strategy. But you're going to take Singular Focus so that you increase your map pool. If you're doing white tier maps, maybe you don't want Singular Focus so that you see more white tier maps. And we're going to take Stream of Consciousness. Now, Stream of Consciousness is really important for this strategy, and it's pretty much everything that's holding the glue together. Stream of Consciousness says your maps cannot be modified by fragments or other than divine vessels. Your maps have 50% more base chance and contain extra content. Extra content is listed down below under the stream of consciousness where you can see it's abyss, blight, breach, so forth and so on. Now, because we take so much chance for harvest to show up and we block so many other mechanics, stream of consciousness is giving us a huge, 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 huge multiplier. I think multiplier is the right word. Somebody's going to yell at me. It's fine. You can leave a comment down below and tell me I'm an idiot and leave us a huge multiplier or chance to get harvest. When we did a 20 map test, we missed it once. And on stream today, 90%, between 75 and 90% of the maps that I did all had a harvest in them. 
There are no sextants. There are no scarabs. There is no setup time. You chisel out and corrupt your map and go. And it's chill. It's easy. It's quick farming. There's no thinking. Now with the remainder of the leftover points, I chose to take Seance and Unrelenting Torment. You may do whatever your heart's content and alter the Atlas tree any which way that you see fit. The only thing that's very important is all the essence nodes and all the harvest nodes. Everything else is subject to change. So we take a mapping strategy. We're going to open our map device. We're going to throw our map in. We're going to choose essence. So it's going to cost us three C there. And then we're just going to go run the maps until we're up, we're blue in the face. We're going to, if we do them in red tier maps, we're going to accumulate invitations. We're going to accumulate harvest use. We're going to accumulate essences. And then when we're done, we're going to take our essence. We're going to upgrade them all on the tab with the upgrade button, upgrade them all to deafening. And then when they're all deafening, we take the bad ones, which the list will be in the description. We use the harvest, we convert them to good essence, and then we sell them. Very simple, very straightforward. And if you really want to take it to the next level, you could start buying essence tabs and flipping essence tabs. Please note, if you spend money to buy an essence tab, and you buy a tab that's already flipped and already converted, you will lose money. You will lose money. You need to buy an essence tab cheaper than what they're normally worth, and you need to wait for people who are listing tabs cheaper. You then buy tabs cheaper either from your friends or on TFT, or you buy cheap essences on the trade website. You flip them, you change them to the good ones, and then you sell them at a slight markup. Because right now, if I were to look at Deafening Essence of Contempt, they are roughly 24 to a divine. I have almost four divines worth. I'm pretty sure I could sell these at 22 to a divine, 21 to the divine, and make a little bit of money. I'd also like to point out that the essence market fluctuates a lot. Watching this video, replicating this video, you cannot kill the essence market. My friend who has shown me this video, who I will leave nameless, has like 100,000 of each essence. And the market's fine. There's a lot of guys from Twitch chat who are doing this, and the market is fine. It'll be very hard to kill the market. The market for essences will fluctuate depending on time of day and which region or which area of the world is up and who is and who isn't crafting. Also note, by the time you watch this video, BPL might have started or will be starting. D4 open beta will be coming out um, for the weekend or D4 itself will be out. So a lot of people will have swap to be doing and testing other things. And there'll be more of a demand for essences as... There will be people who need to craft and people who want to craft or people trying to make their own gear. And I know me personally, as I've been making my spectral shield throw gear, when I went to make my boots and my rings and my armor and everything that I've been doing, I buy hundreds of essences at a time. And I usually just clear out a seller. So most people who will be buying your essence will probably buy all of your essences that you have and just kind of clear you out. So that's that. I highly encourage you to try it. It's been a really fun, easy strategy. I've made a lot of money doing this and you can easily track all the money that I make. You can see in my last couple of Twitch VODs, it's been, it's been quite wonderful. The strategy itself is very simple and very easy. If you get lost or you get confused or you don't know what to do, do not hesitate to ask questions. The comment section down below is absolutely wonderful and you can feel free to post everything that you want. If you feel that you've been baited by this strategy and it doesn't work for you, we can talk about why you got baited and why it's not working and try to figure out what you did wrong. Because, yes. Or feel free to join the Discord or stop by the Twitch stream and we'll happily... The community, the community, <laughs> the community that hang out with the Discord, you guys are great. Big pat on the back. I, you guys are absolutely fantastic. And they're, they, they taught me this. I didn't figure this out on my own. They taught me. So I'm just here to pass on the knowledge. But for now, guys, good luck with your essences. I hope you guys kill all the essence mobs. And uh, I don't want to make a like a like a joke about washing dirty essences and the good ones because then somebody's gonna yell at me. But anyways, chat, friends, YouTube, so long for all of you to say goodbye. Good luck with your essence hunting and farming. See you guys in the next one.